and welcome to this new series, Strategy in 10 Minutes, by me, Fran, from Underwing. Um, in this little 10 minute series, I'm going to give you some tips and hints about business and marketing strategy. I want to clarify now, this is in no way a substitute for a proper built, a properly built business or marketing strategy. And to do that, you require a little more than 10 minutes. But these are going to be some hints and tips on the things that my clients um, and my potential clients often ask about. Uh, in order to compile the titles of this series, I have asked around what people wanted to know about. So here we are with the first episode, which is about surviving in times of pandemic. Um, this is obviously a relevant episode right now because despite us being kind of out of lockdown at the moment and the, the pandemic not hitting as hard as it was before, uh, business-wise we are all still kind of recovering. Um, many of us were really lucky and they didn't suffer the big hit but the other half of us uh, did and they lost clients, they lost suppliers, they lost, uh, uh, they were caught in a chain where they either couldn't get supplies or their clients went away. So all sorts of things. Um, so this is a quick 10 minutes about how to survive and thrive during this uh, um, unprecedented times. Uh, a little bit about me before we start. If you don't know me, my name is Francesca and I am the owner and director of Underwing. Um, Underwing is a business and marketing uh, consultancy um, specializing in making your idea become a business. What this means is that you come to me with a business idea and I'm going to give you all the tools uh, you need to make that idea actually become a money-making business uh, and I do this through business and marketing strategy. I also specialize in female founders and special needs entrepreneurs. So about today's episode, what are we doing here? We're gonna look at what the main problems for small businesses are right now. Uh, what can you do uh, to identify what your audience wants and how many of these wishes can you grant um, and then uh, how to customize your products and services um, COVID style uh, and then how to track your success. Um, you are taking home some tools to make tweak, tweaks in your business and marketing strategy and hopefully make your business work a little better. So let's just start. Um, I do have slides down there. Um, so what is the situation right now? The main problems of the current situation is that there is no routine. We've all lost routine. There's no offices, there is no schools. Um, many of us are still in the house with children. It's a completely new way of working for many of us. Uh, some of us had never done a Zoom meeting before the pandemic hit. Um, there is a lot of stress because we are having to do our job, um, having to homeschool, uh, having to keep the house tidy and clean. We're all in the same house all the time. No one is used to this and this creates a lot of stress. And we are also under a big pressure of getting things done like before. Um, and obviously there is possible lack of cash flow because of all the things that have happened. Some of us have lost clients, some of us uh, have lost products that they could have sold, um, some of us are just caught in a chain where supplies are not getting from here to there, um, clients are kind of not sure whether they want to spend the money or not. Um, so there is a possibility that some of us are lacking in cash flow. At the moment, what you want to do to make your products and services desirable is ask yourself, what do people want? People want to know what each one of us wants to know, that everything is gonna be okay in the end, that we're gonna be free, that we, can, we will be able to go out, meet friends, um, get out for a walk with all the friends we want to go, go out for a picnic, 
um, they want to take their minds off scary things. Many of us have seen friends and family um, being very sick uh, in the best of cases. People want to be delighted, they want to take their mind off a very scary moment that we're all um, living together. Um, so ask yourself, what do you have product or service wise that can delight people, that can bring a little ray of light in their day? Is it a product? Is it a beauty product? Is it something for the house to reorganize the house more efficiently? Something so that people can structure their um, home office better? Something that will help them in homeschooling or that will help running the house more efficiently or uh, separate rooms so that each one of us has an office in a house? Uh, are you offering services that will help people feel less anxious, that will help people cope better with the day, or services that will help people boost their businesses in this time. Whatever you're offering, look at how what you offer, whether it's a product or a service, can make people's lives better. Because this is what we want now. What we want now is for someone to provide a solution to this difficult situation. And even if the solution is really little and it only affects one little part of our lives, we will hang on to it. So once you've identified this, put it out, tell the world you have it. And the way you do it is both through word of mouth and online. We're all online all the time now. So social media, web presence, um, talks, meetings, online meetings, webinars, networking events. This is important. If people don't know you're there, your service is there, your product is there, they can't buy it. Be visible. Once you start selling, get reviews, get feedback, get people to tell you why they bought and how have you made them feel? How is it, has your product made them feel, your service? How has it changed their lives for the better? Even in a little, little way. Um, if you think you have all the products that, or services that you discontinued that might work now, bring them back. Um, anything goes, you can, actively do whatever you want to make your business thrive. Bring on new people to help you. Uh, start collaborations. More people spreading the word about what you do is more potential client that you can reach. Uh, once you start, um, as I said, track uh, your feedback. Get some feedback on uh, on what people think and what they will change. Are they happy with everything? Will they change anything? Get public reviews, get people to talk about you and boast about your success. Being successful is not a crime. It's fine to be successful. It's fine to be okay in a moment where everyone might be kind of unsure you're fine, you're doing fine, do tell the world. This is an important thing. Uh, don't be afraid to look successful. You're fine being successful, even now. The more people see that you're thriving in this moment, the more people will come to you because it means you have a solution, even a little solution, even something that will change the life for the better in a very subtle way you still have a solution. Um, once all of this is in place, obviously online, look at your insights, look at developing interactions and relationships with potential clients, showing them what you can do for them, not only through advertising your products and services, but also through the feedback you've already received. Uh, never stop being visible. This is really important because we are in a moment where 
if you disappear off the radar, when we all start running full speed again, you will have to catch up with everyone else who kept running during the pandemic. Uh, and this is like when you run 10 kilometers a day and then you stop for two months and then one day you decide you're gonna get off your couch and run 10 kilometers. It's not gonna happen. I'm telling you because I tried <laughs> and it didn't work. Um, it's not gonna happen. Keep running with whatever, whatever you have uh, and you will see the results. So, identify what your audience wants, give them whatever you can give them to delight them, adapt your products and services to this situation and market them for the situation. Get reviews, boast about your success spread the word you're still here and you're still being successful and track your success in terms of insights and data on social media and websites um, that's really it for me uh, i've obviously gone over the 10 minutes but that's just because i'm italian if you have any questions if you want to tell me whether these videos are useful uh, or not, uh, if you want to suggest uh, some other topics, my uh, email address is fran at underwingliverpool.com. You can reach me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook at underwingliverpool and my website is www.underwingliverpool.com. I will speak to you very soon for the next episode of Strategy in 10 Minutes. Bye!